Now you guys know I am all for tech innovators thinking outside the box, but this is bananas. Banana phone is a Bluetooth enabled mobile handset that connects to your smartphone so you can talk to your friends and family on a banana. And awesome. This banana shaped device is available on Indiegogo and can be had for as low as 40 bucks. This is a very low price for a phone, right? That's because it isn't exactly a phone. The banana phone essentially works as a Bluetooth communicator. It connects to your phone wirelessly and doesn't work as a standalone device. It really doesn't do too much, but it is fun. In fact, it only has three buttons, volume up, volume down, and home. It can receive calls as well as make them using voice assistant, of course. Battery life is estimated at 10 hours of talk time, making it a handy gadget for those who'd rather not pull out their phones to make a call and prefer to do it with a fruit. Now, why does this banana phone have appeal? Especially because it needs s'more apps. <laughs> no, my friends, it is actually serious monkey business. It's for endangered gorillas. Check that link out there below. Proceeds will go to help endangered gorillas. It's for a good cause. All right, so moving on to rumors surrounding a Motorola tablet that may have a longed for feature. The report comes from Android Police, who received a slideshow that shows off this feature from an unnamed but trusted source. The slideshow shows that this tablet will have a productivity mode, which will allow for Android apps to be pinned on the navigation bar. The slide indicates that users should be able to switch between those apps by tapping on their icons in the nav bar. In theory, this should allow people to switch from a word processing app to a note taking app quickly without having to go through the normal Android home screen. Now keep in mind guys, we know nothing else about this rumored device. We don't have a release date, specs, nothing like that, but it is a feature that does begin to close the gap between tablets and laptops. Now let's talk about what could be the next generation of fingerprint scanners. The Fraunhofer Institute has demonstrated a brand new OLED micro display that can identify even the smallest sweat pores of your finger. The Institute's new invention might mean that we are one step closer to a highly advanced and secure under glass optical fingerprint scanning technology. Now, if you guys remember, one of the rumors surrounding the Samsung Galaxy S8 before it was launched was an under screen fingerprint scanner. Now, of course, that didn't actually come to fruition, but the question is, what does this new invention actually mean for people like you and me? In short, increased security. The Institute states, and I quote, we have used an extra thin encapsulation for the chip of this fingerprint sensor, thereby the distance between finger and image sensor has been minimized and the fingerprint can be captured excellently. Thus, an additional imaging optic is not necessary for this application. What this means is that despite the thinness, the high spatial resolution can identify even the smallest sweat pores on top of your fingers meaning these OLED-based optical fingerprint scanners are extremely secure. Optical fingerprint scanners are the oldest method of capturing fingerprints, and because they rely on optical images of your finger, it's not as difficult to manipulate them. The Fraunhofer Institute's new sensors therefore address this major drawback. And for all my Indian friends out there, Wi-Fi hotspots may be coming to you. Facebook and Indian carrier Barta Airtel have joined forces to bring millions of Indians online with 20,000 Wi-Fi hotspots. The program, called Express Wi-Fi, has been created in partnership with 500 local businesses in the states of Gujarat and Rajasthan, and these two places that I won't try and pronounce. It's rolled out thus far to 700 hotspots, with the remainder to follow in the coming months, according to BuzzFeed News. The cost of access to the Express Wi-Fi hotspots is decided by the partners, not Facebook. And they're said to range from 10 rupees for 100 megabytes to 300 rupees for 20 gigabytes of data per day. In a statement, Facebook's head of connectivity solutions in Asia Pacific, Munish Seth, said, quote, Express Wi-Fi is designed to complement mobile data offerings by providing a low-cost, high-bandwidth alternative for getting online and accessing apps, download, and streaming content. Hey, you geeks out there who are also dreamers and visionaries who want to put your stuff out to the world, consider our beloved sponsor, Squarespace. Why? 
Well, I have used them several times before, no joke. Show School, How to Become TV, some of you knew me from there, No Regret TV, The Tao of Dad, all ran on Squarespace. Why? Well, besides looking great, I can tweak it until my heart's content. I can make that website look how I want it to look with no coding necessary. That's fantastic. It's also an all-in-one service, so no plugins, no upgrades, no updates, none of that. It does it all for you. It's an all-in-one source. No hosting somewhere and a theme from somewhere else. It's all in one package. They also have 24-7 customer support and they care. I actually had an issue once and I emailed them with it and the CEO, Anthony himself, contacted me to address it. It's fantastic. You can start your free trial today at squarespace.com forward slash Android Authority and enter offer code Android to get 10% off your first purchase. Thank you.